Hi, my name is Vignesh, one of the pre-sales consultants here at Manage Engine. It will be my pleasure to do a product demonstration on Manage Engine Password Manager Pro. If you are someone who stores your passwords on spreadsheets or sticky notes and facing lots of difficulties on the accountability, you have just landed to the right product. The next 15 minutes is going to be a game-changing moment and I promise you will witness it. Most of the administrators does not have a proper visibility on their privileged passwords. Even CISO of Fortune 500 companies find this question to be a tough one to answer. This is because they don't maintain them in a centralized repository. Also, administrators have no real clue on their delegation management. When an external auditor raises a question, what are the privileged passwords that are shared to a specific user, ID admins go crazy. One of the important problems are managing service accounts, scheduled task accounts. These are special privileged accounts which are created to run special applications. But the real world problem is to get a quick snapshot of those service accounts and the places where they are deployed. ID compliance mandates to rotate those service accounts and other privileged accounts periodically with the complex password policy. But in reality, they reset those accounts with the old password to escape from the audit. This might save them temporarily, but the real threat may happen at any time and we do have plenty of case studies from the top organizations. Privileged session management and auditing plays a vital role in ID security. Administrators are desperate to know what was done by a user during a session. Contractors, third-party consultants might require access to privileged passwords and it's important for administrators to shadow those user sessions in real time. Passwords in applications and scripts and configuration files are a frequently overlooked security exposure that poses potentially severe risks to business. Typically, these credentials are embedded in clear text, hard-coded in software, or stored in plain text on local machines. This exposes application credentials to a wide audience, which leaves organizations with little ability to protect, audit, and manage application access and puts business continuity at risk. Automating those application-to-application -application password management closes back to your critical systems. Password Manager Pro is a web-based tool that allows you to build a centralized repository which acts like a secure vault to store all your privileged passwords. In addition, it also allows you to store your digital contents like certificates, encryption keys, documents, etc. So let's deep dive and find how Password Manager Pro addresses these problems. Once you install the product as an admin, you may want to get your users imported into this world. Users can be imported in multiple ways. Let's see the options we have. Creating users locally into the PMP database. Importing users from Active Directory. Importing users from LDAP. Importing users from a CSV file. Let's see how this works. You just need to enter the details of your AD and provide the appropriate credentials along with the required sync interval. The extra benefit of AutoSync enables periodical fetch from your AD to stay up to date. Now just hit fetch groups and OUs. Here, PMP will try to enumerate the list of groups and OUs from your AD. You may choose the required OU or even drill down to a specific sub-OU and hit import. This way, users from the selected OUs will be imported. By default, all the users will act as a password user. Once after getting the users, you could assign the required roles. You also have user groups, which is again fetched from the AD. This enables to share a password with a user group to make the sharing hassle-free. PMP is built on ownership concept. An admin can see only the passwords he own and that are shared to him. This means a Windows admin will see all his Windows passwords which he have added and will not have access to the Linux passwords added by the Linux admin and vice versa. This greatly enhances your ID security. 
If a key employee is leaving the company, you could transfer all the passwords owned by the user to, the, to a new admin. The new admin could perform a bulk password reset with a complex password policy. You could also use a break class account and assign it with super admin privilege, which will have access to all the passwords. These accounts can be used at the time of emergency and this is why they are called as break class accounts. After getting done with the user management part, here comes the important task of admins. Different admins will add their passwords so that they could share them with their users. An admin can add passwords by the following ways. Adding passwords manually, importing all the passwords from an existing CSV file, or make use of the auto discovery option from PMP. Let's see how the discovery works. Resource discovery is supported for Windows, networking devices, VMware, and Linux devices. Now assume I want to discover all the Windows boxes using PMP. I just have to enter the required details of my domain controller and fetch the required OU which contains my Windows boxes. This not only discovers the Windows boxes, it also discovers the list of local admin accounts that are present inside those boxes. The beauty doesn't end here. PMP will be able to discover all your service accounts that are running on those boxes along with the appropriate service name. So with just one click you will be able to have a complete snapshot of all your service accounts. That being said, when you attempt to reset the password of a service account, it not only changes the password on the AD, it also updates the new password across the member servers for all the services whichever is using this as a service account. The same procedure is applicable for scheduled task, IAS app pool management. This will save a lot of time and service account management becomes hassle free with PMP. Once after discovering the entire IT assets, all your resources will be available under the resource tab. All we need to do is just to expand the resources to see the list of accounts present inside them. By default, the passwords of the account will be same as the username. Either you could update the current password or forcefully reset the password using PMP with the complex password policy of your choice. The remote password resets are supported for Windows, Linux, and Unix devices, databases such as MySQL, MSSQL, Oracle, and Sybase, networking devices such as routers, switches, firewalls, etc. VMware devices, Google Apps, Rackspace, and more as you see in the list below. A unique feature of PMP is it's designed in such a way to adopt any new changes from the vendor side. In fact, if a new vendor comes to the market, the only prerequisite is to have CLI access over SSH. This makes PMP robust in terms of heterogeneous support. You could very well replicate the groups present in your AD under the resource groups. This greatly enhances bulk sharing of passwords, which we will see shortly. Let's take a practical example. A Windows admin is in charge of resetting all his local administrator accounts across all the member servers. So, with PMP, the admin will navigate to resource groups and add a criteria-based dynamic group. You could call the group name as per your convenience. Define the criteria as resource type equals windows and user account equals administrator and hit search. This will populate all the local admin accounts across your member servers. Your variable allowed to fine tune the search and customize it as per your requirements. The admin will be able to change the password using both on demand and schedule password reset. This again makes bulk password rotation hassle-free. You could define a pre-notification and generate a unique password for every account for every once in X days of your choice. You could also get a post notification after the password reset. Now let's see how sharing of privileged passwords works. Sharing can be done at an account level 
resource level, resource group level with view, which is a read-only permission, modify, which is both read and change permission, manage, which is managing the entire resource such as read, modify, and delete accounts. So for this demo, I'm going to create a password user called Chris. This will explain how password users will use PMP in order to carry out their day-to-day -day operations. The admin decides to share a Windows resource with Chris. The admin will choose the required resource and share it with Chris with view permission. The admin could choose if he wants to notify Chris about it. Let's open another browser and log in as Chris. Chris is able to see the resource that has been shared with him. When he expands, he will be able to see the accounts present inside them. He is able to see and copy the password to clipboard. He could also launch a direct connection to the remote resource using the open connection box. This will launch a direct connection to the target box from the browser itself. This feature works on a gateway based approach which is bundled along with the product. So, the actual RDP happens on the PMP server and that session gets tunneled via browser. For some reason, the admin decides not to share the password in plain text, but he still wants Chris to make use of the password. To achieve this, the admin will navigate to Admin, General Settings, and uncheck the option Allow users to retrieve passwords for which auto logon is configured. From here onwards, Password users will not be able to retrieve the password in plain text. They will be able to make use of the auto logon to perform their operations. This is where PMP auditing plays a vital role. Admins will be able to see the resource name and the account name which was used to launch RDP along with the actual PMP user. It basically gives you what, who, when and where. As an admin, you could also play back the recorded sessions to perform any forensic analysis. In fact, you could do a real-time session shadowing too. This way, you will be able to shadow a user when he launches an RDP or maybe an SSH or a Telnet session from PMP. If you need to terminate your users, you could do it pretty easily. For some reason, the admin decides to implement an approval mechanism. So if any users need to access a box or a device, they need to make a request and the appropriate admins will approve the access request and grant permissions. He will select the required critical resources and configure access control and define the authorized admins. Maybe if the admin decides to exclude certain users from this approval mechanism, he could very well do it. Admins can define how long a password can remain exclusive for a user and reset passwords after exclusive use. Let's see how Chris performs a RDP after the introduction of access control workflow. He's still able to see the resource. Now the moment he tries to launch a RDP, it tells him that he needs an approval. Chris will raise a request with the appropriate message and the request will be sent to the appropriate admin mailbox as well as on the password access request notifications in the UI. Admins will be able to review the request and approve it based on the need. Chris will get an email stating your access request to this box has been approved. He could check out and start using the resource. Once his session times out, PMP will reset the password of that account. PMP offers out-of-the-box reports to cater your reporting needs. The product offers predefined compliance reports which will help you to mandate what the regulatory bodies such as PCI, HIPAA, ISO and NERC. You can also create your custom compliance reports. Integrating with your existing ticketing system is again a powerful feature of PMP. Password users could retrieve passwords only with a valid ticket ID. PMP will check if the ticket is assigned to that user and if the ticket is in open state in the respective help desk portal. This again greatly enhances the security by giving powerful delegation model. PMP also supports mobile device support for Android, iOS and Windows devices. 
In addition, users could make use of the browser extension to access PMP. Browser extension is supported for Firefox, Google Chrome, etc. Using browser extension, Chris will be able to launch a direct connection to websites too. If you have any boxes that are behind a firewall, using the one-way reset agents, you could manage those boxes. PMP supports various APIs for managing application-to-application -application passwords. Let's say you have hard-coded passwords for your critical applications. You could completely eliminate hard-coding of passwords and use our API to supply the password to the respective applications. All the users can also manage their personal passwords with their own passphrase. This way, they don't have to toggle between two different tools for their enterprise and personal passwords. Personal passwords can be managed only by the individual user who creates it and even admins will not have access to the personal passwords added by the password users. Now here comes the data redundancy part. PMP offers high availability. So you could have a primary instance of PMP in one server and a secondary in some other server or maybe in some other network. If something goes wrong to the primary, users could connect to the secondary and perform their day-to-day -day operations until the primary is brought back to service. Let me explain our licensing scheme. We offer four roles within PMP. They are Administrator, Password Administrator, Password User, and Password Auditor. However, PMP licensing is purely based on the number of administrators, which is admins and password admins. As you see, an admin will be able to add, delete, and modify users from the vault, as well as the ability to access the audit trial. However, password admins do not have these options. They could add passwords, delegate them with other users, and reset those passwords. So, assume you purchase 50 admins back. With 50 administrators, you could have a combination of X administrators and Y password administrators where the sum of X and Y should not exceed 50. This gives unrestricted number of passwords and users within the application. I believe this gives you a basic idea about the product. So what's next? Go ahead and kickstart the evaluation and contact us for any assistance if required. Thanks for watching.